Hello and welcome to another installment of ASP.NET in 5 minutes or less. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn on debugging um, for your ASP.NET application. By default the debug um, option is set to false. So let's demonstrate this um, with a new uh, web page. I created an empty website so there's nothing that's out of the that's added it's just empty and let's intentionally throw an exception on the code behind exception okay. exception and then I'm going to say this is a test save it and then run it in the browser so you get this page it has some information on exception but doesn't tell you what line it is and there are two ways that you can enable um, debugging. You can do it on a page to page basis by adding this line to the ASP.NET default page. So you go in here and do debug. It's true. So, this is useful when you have to debug something that's live and you just want it, uh, this page to show the exception. So if I do it again, it'll tell you what line it is that's throwing the exception. But I'm going to show you another way that I like to do during development, which is Put this away. To change the debug um, property in the web config file. So just change it from false to true. Save it and then run it in the browser. What this does is it tells you what more details about the exception on all of your web pages. So when you run the page, you get the same message, but this will work for all of your pages. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day.